Hiya friends, welcome back to the channel. Um, there's been an awful lot of uh, news coverage um, about the recent decision in the Biden administration to uh, start rebuilding the wall or building the wall on the uh, southern border. And uh, one of uh, the commenters on my on a recent video asked if uh, I would share my thoughts on uh, this particular issue. So I think I will. Be very careful what you, uh, uh, how you interpret this particular action from the Biden administration and Joe Biden in particular. Stick around and let me get into some detail. Yes, the uh, news coverage here on uh, this particular issue seems to be that uh, um, Biden has uh, uh, finally seen the light that uh, uh, is coming to the realization that the border is not secure and that uh, we need to uh, um, restart building the wall that Trump started uh, a few years ago. And uh, it, it all sounds good um, if that's what you believe. My particular belief on this, this topic is that this is nothing but um, a placation to try to get some of the conservative voters that may be on the, uh, on the edge between Trump and Biden um, to get them to swing a little bit over to Biden's camp by saying, yeah, um, gee, we really do need to have um, a border wall here. It's, it's uh, with all the negative press that we're getting and all the nonsense, um, the crime, the fentanyl, you name it. Um, yeah, we, we've got to invest in this. Well, there, there's, from what I understand, and I haven't done a whole lot, heck of a lot of research into this, but there is a law that requires that the uh, um, uh, funds that were allocated to build the wall must be used to build the wall and they can't be returned to the general fund or anything like that. So while I don't have all the details on that, I think that's one of the dynamics involved in this. But the biggest dynamic, I really think, is that this is all a, uh, an election ruse. Biden's trying to get some support from the, um, the ones that are sitting on the edge of the fence on the, uh, on the conservative side and wants to get them over onto his camp by saying, hey, yeah, I, I hear you guys. Uh, yeah, this is, this is what we're going to start doing from now on. And uh, I just don't, I'm not buying it. Um, if, if a wall does get built, there will be a hole in it uh, big enough to drive 10 tractor trailers full of uh, <laughs> illegal immigrants through. Um, that the, um, whether it's a hole or a gate or whatever, um, yeah, there may be some walls being built a few feet here or there. Contrary to the official narrative that uh, Biden was um, harping on uh, for the first uh, nearly three years of his uh, uh, reign as uh, dictator in chief, the because uh, uh, he said that not one foot of the wall will be built under my watch. And uh, you got Mayorkas out there saying, well, hey, the border is secure. And Kamala Harris, who's the, uh, apparently the border czar, yeah, she's done a good job with that. That's, uh, uh, they're all saying, oh, the border's secure, nothing to worry about. And uh, all of a sudden, it just flips. Well, it flips because Biden is trailing in the polls in a head-to-head -head match with Trump. And uh, it, depending on which poll you want to really look at, I don't know if polls are anywhere near accurate. I think uh, the last batch of polls that we saw that uh, Trump was going to walk away with the 2020 
uh, presidential election and lo and behold, um, 80 million people voted for Joe Biden. And I, I hope they're rethinking their stance on that, but it doesn't appear that they are. This is um, his attempt to try to level the playing field, to appeal to the conservatives, to appeal to the GOP that may be on the fence about Trump, to get them to move over to his way of thinking, whether a, a foot of wall gets actually built or whether it's going to be one large gate. Uh, Biden is not going to build a wall. So um, don't know what else to tell you. Those are my thoughts. Um, here we go. So in, in other news, the uh, um, jobs report just came out uh, uh, first thing this morning, I think at 8.30. And uh, gee, surprisingly enough, uh, job creation was way up, about nearly double from what was expected to happen. And gee, I, I thought, oh, well, that's got to be good news for the economy, that there's more jobs, that means more people are, are uh, um, going to be off the unemployment lines, that are going to be working, that are going to be contributing to uh, uh, the feds through their taxes. But no, take a look at the stock market this morning, and the Dow's down um, almost 200 points as I'm recording this right now, and um, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So are these numbers real? Are, are the uh, um, forecasts um, understated so that when it comes in, it's supposed to look good, but it's not really? I have no idea how this uh, impacts. I would have thought very simply that having a, a blockbuster jobs report that everybody's been anticipating, the markets have been anticipating all week long, that um, if that turned out to be a blockbuster number, that the stock market would react positively. But when you look at some of the other details that are involved in this, the unemployment rate stayed the same. The, uh, um, the, the number of jobs, uh, um, while it did go up, it doesn't mean that those jobs have been filled by anybody. Uh, it just means that there's a lot of people uh, or, or somebody is posting open positions that are counted in some fashion by the, uh, uh, the people that put these numbers together. I don't put much stock in any of this anymore. The, the numbers that they're coming up with are as fictitious as Joe Biden's promise not to build any more of the wall or to start rebuilding the wall that he stopped building um, makes no sense to me what's going on. We've got now, uh, what, a year to go. It's uh, uh, the first part of October right now and the first part of November next year. We're going to be casting our votes. And I would urge everybody to just go back um, three, uh, three and a half years See where you were uh, from your personal financial standpoint. See where you were from an inflation standpoint. Um, how your assets are doing. Uh, if you've got um, an IRA or a 401k, tell me how that's been doing. And um, if, if you can't see the difference between what was going on three and a half or four years ago to what's going on today, then um, you, you've got to get off this Biden bandwagon. The guy is absolutely a danger to what the conservative GOP folks, Trump supporters and all that, uh, what they want and what they need and what our country needs. Joe Biden is a waste of time. Cast your votes wisely in the primaries that are coming and in the uh, presidential election that's coming next fall, next November, and be prepared 
be prepared for um, <laughs> me being wrong on this. Because if Joe Biden does get elected one more time, we are in, uh, we, we've lost the whole battle. Um, I, I'm not sure there's any coming back from this short of a, um, a, a civil war. And I don't want to see that happen. So it's up to us to cast the right votes come next November. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always. And I'll see you all on the next video.